okay so now that we're able to send messages across clients um, next thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we save the messages to our database okay because now if i refresh this we're going to lose everything that we have and likewise for the firefox browser as well okay so let's just head over to our terminal here and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go into that directory so um let's do php php chat okay so i'll just install some composer packages that we need to help us save um, messages to the database okay i'll just do composer require illuminate that's a package uh, used by laravel for manipulating databases and doing queries illuminate database and illuminate for slash events okay just press enter and you should um download those packages and um, add them to our comp JS composer.json here okay so let's give it a moment so that runs and uh, pause the video here and resume when that's done so now that that has installed um what we need to do is we need to set up eloquent and eloquent like i said is that package manager for um so another package manager database manager for laravel and then we're just pulling it into our project so it makes it easier for us to work with database so let's do uh, create a file called setup eloquent dot php and what we want to do is we want to make sure that um it's included anytime uh, we run our application so let's just do files here for auto load create another key in auto load they are called files and it's going to be an array and um what's what is going to include is the actually let's move this um setup eloquent to our source folder here so i'll just leave it in source instead of um it living inside of just the main here because i don't want to pollute this main folder here so let's do source for slash setup eloquent dot php okay so what i'll do is i'll run a composer dump auto load once more so that, that file is included in our build okay so what i'll do is i've created a snippet which i'll just quickly paste inside of setup eloquent and i'll go through it um, quickly just to show you what's happening so um adding that um, file let's go to setup eloquent and uh, paste this here and basically we're just setting up the um, eloquent orm so we can use it i'm just instantiating some stuff and uh, i won't go through this in this video because i did a video course on it in my um using laravel packages outside of laravel so um I'll link to that in the description below so that you can go ahead and um and watch your video so you know what's happening here and um, but briefly i'm just adding a connection um we're going to create this um database fairly soon php chat and um, i'm just setting up eloquent and making sure that it works okay the one last thing that we need to do is we need to create another class uh, called message so let's do class here and um we're going to call it a uh, message actually uh, let's not create a class since we're using psr for um standards let's create another folder called here called entities and um some people call it models but i just want to call it entities it's pretty much the same thing so we'll create another file there called um message dot php and that's where our entity is going to live so let's open a php tag and up there let's just do class and let's call it message extends um illuminate okay and um, the database and eloquent and model okay i know that's pretty long but um that's how it's supposed to be and we're going to remove this um constructor here and um since it's an eloquent model class it has to have a protected um fillable and um, as i said all this is covered in my uh, video for using laravel packages outside of laravel okay so next let's actually create our database so i'll head over to my um program here that i use for database uh, manipulation and um queries it's called sql pro it's free on mac uh, but you can use anything that you like on um windows if that's what you're using so i'll do our database so it's going to be called php chat and i have prepared a query up front which i'll run quickly so that we um have some um, tables into our database here and the table will be messages and you have these columns id text created that updated that okay so i'll just quickly run that and now we have a messages um, table but the content is empty 
And finally, um, let's run Composer Dump Auto Load once more. Um, so Composer Dump Auto Load, and um, let's go in our chat.php file here. And what we want to implement um, or modify is the on message method here. So now, anytime a message is being sent, all we're doing is looping through the clients um, that are different from the person who sent the message, and we're sending the messages to them, which is fine. But we need to make sure that we also store the messages. Okay. So um, since we have this message class here inside entities message, let's um, import that. And I've actually forgot to set a namespace for this since we're using um, PSR four. We used to do namespace, and the namespace will be. Um, chat app and um, backslash entities okay so we need to import that using um, this use statement at the top here so let's do use um, chat app entities and then message okay so now we can just do something like message colon colon create and now uh, what do we want to create we want to create a new message which has a property of text and the value will be message okay so that's pretty much it so now let's go ahead in our command line here and restart the um, console server here so i'll just close that and open up again so now let's go to our browser here and i'll refresh and i'll do another refresh here so now that both clients are connected um, let's just verify that there's nothing in our database um, messages table here. So I'll just say hello Firefox and then I'll just do a send and um, let's see what happened. I clicked on send. It says web socket is already closing or closed state. This means that we have an error. It says call to a member function connection on null model.php. Okay, so let's see what the error is. Um, since like in setup eloquent we have an issue there okay so it seems that the problem comes from this auto load here so this should not be files should be files so i'm just going to do a composer dump auto load once more um, because it did not include that file um so this time let me put up the server again okay quickly and i'll just um load up the browser and i'll just refresh this quickly so refresh refresh we connected to the server um so yeah okay so i'll send a message quickly again so i say hello firefox and i'll just send and now it should create this message in our database so um let's send another message here saying hi chrome i'll just send that let's go to our messages table now let's refresh and as you can see it is creating the program um, text messages in our database message class message table that is and as you can see it is creating the text messages in our messages table okay so that's it for this video i thank you for watching and i'll see you soon in another video cheers bye bye